Are you sure there isn't someone we can call? Can we ask you how you got hurt? Does it matter? You said you can fix it, right? Abby, I want you to know that you don't have to tell us anything. We can bring a counselor down for you to talk to. No, no more doctors. I have enough doctors, and I don't need a shrink. I just need my stomach to stop hurting is all. OK. How did you get that? My neighbor's kids like to play street hockey, and I'm crap at it. I don't think that's true. Dr. Crab. You keep looking at each other, but I'm right here. So one of you, say whatever the hell it is you're trying so hard not to say. Abby. I'm worried your husband hurt you and from the marks on your legs, possibly sexually assaulted. Dr. Yeah. Karev, hallway now. Jack would never. He's never raised his voice. He's calm. Then someone else. Did. Is it the OR ready by now? Because this hurts like a Abby, if we take you to the OR, we have to make you sterile. So everything that happened to you, all the evidence, it all goes away. You can still report it. I'm not reporting anything. There's nothing to report. It's your choice. It is all your choice. But if something happened, if it did, we could gather the evidence and seal it away until you are ready to do something about it. We all know if I do that, kid, it ends up in the back of some police station, ignored for years, while I sit there wondering when the bomb will go off. Waiting to see if a jury of my peers will believe... Believe a woman who wore a skirt a few inches too short. Who had a few cocktails too many at a bar last night after having a fight... about laundry with her husband. And you know the tequila I drank will make it my fault. And whoever did this to me, whatever he drank, that'll be his excuse. <laughs> Is your kid gonna convince them I wasn't flirting at the bar? If I give them my story and my underwear, will it prove to them or to my husband that I didn't cheat on him and make up some story just to save my own ass? Okay, <laughs> will your kid do that? Okay, all right, deep breath. That's it. Slow, deep breath. My ex-husband, he hurt me. Not in the way that you were hurt, but he hit me. He hurt me for years. And I was so, so terrified. And so convinced that no one would believe me. And I was so, so alone. I never had the chance or the choice to hold him responsible. I can't imagine how you are feeling right now. I can't. But one day, you might feel differently. You might want justice. And I want you to have everything you need to do that. And my husband, he can never know. He won't have to. Do it. Just do the damn kid. There you go.